It's 99 Jams, Miami's number one for hip hop and RB. Afternoon, get down with the tough guy, DJ and Tice. Your girl, Super Cindy, and live in the studio. Yes, yes, yes! Exclamation <laughs> point. I have actress, mama entrepreneur. I don't know how to say that word. She just taught me that. <laughs> and you've seen her on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. You've seen her on Growing Up Hip Hop. I have Masika. Hi, everybody. It's- Actually, Masika, Kalisha, oh. you wouldn't say Angelina without the Jolie. Oh, you know, I know. Like, oh. <laughs> I messed up already, babe. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your background. Like, how did you end up on these shows? Like, you are you from Hollywood originally when you went to Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? We're going to talk about that real quick. Well, originally I'm from heaven. Yes, honey. And um, I fell down into the fiery pits of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're from Chicago. I never knew that. Right. Yes, I grew up. Um, Chicago, my whole family, my mom's from the west side, my dad's from the south side. Mm-hmm. Um, I grew up with my dad's side of the family, so I grew up mostly on the south side of Chicago. Okay. Um, don't know too much about the west side, but my mom's here with me today. Yeah, shout out to mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she repping for the west side. <laughs> but um, I moved to Atlanta with my parents when I was still in school, mm-hmm. and I always said, oh, I hate Atlanta, I'm going to move back to Chicago, and then I realized I didn't want to get killed. <laughs> or, uh, oh, wow. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's one of those things, like, Chicago's one of the few cities where they still, like, gangbang, and it's, like, yeah. a cool thing right. to there, yeah. <laughs> and everywhere else is, like, are, you're stuck in the 80s, <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's just a very different situation growing up, and um, when I was in college, I started traveling to L.A., and, you know, mm-hmm. was pursuing acting and music and different things, and then I just saw black people making money and different opportunities and mm-hmm. having... Ashton Martins and Bentleys and things like that that I had never seen yeah. coming from where I came from. So mm-hmm. I said, oh, this is where I want to be. Okay. And um, I made a whole plan and moved to L.A. Oh, how did you end up on Love & Hip Hop initially? Like- wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had um, filmed this show um, before, and uh, James Debo was the executive producer. Mm-hmm. And at the time, his assistant uh, on the show was um, a guy by the name of Ernest Duke. Okay. And we followed each other on social media. So when we wrapped on filming, um, I noticed that he was with all of the reality stars. He was mm. with Tammy Roman, and he was with um, uh, Laura from Basketball Wise yeah. and, and Malaysia and all these different. So I was like, well, what is he doing? And I noticed he had switched over to doing PR. Okay. So, um, you know, one day I get a text message um, from two of my girlfriends. I was asleep. I woke up. They had both texted me. It was, it was screenshots. Girls that... You know, separately, they weren't, like, in a group chat. They didn't know the other one had dead text. They sent me a screenshot of Bossip's write-up. Mm-hmm. By the way, Bossip has the funniest captions. I don't know if you've ever heard that. <laughs> the gossip website, they, Bossip. L- listen, I know I'm the clapback queen, but they sometimes, like, I wish I would have thought of that one. <laughs> but anyway, um, they had a Bossip write-up saying Love and Hip Hop was coming to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And both of my girlfriends said, you know, sent me the articles. Like, girl, you got to go on the show. You have to. It's, it, you, this is perfect for you. And Insulin was like, I would never get on that show. That's absolutely ridiculous. Let me call Ernest. Maybe he can help <laughs> me get on it. <laughs> and it was like, it was, it was, it wasn't even a comma in the same breath when I, I like turned my nose up. Like I could never. Then I was like, actually, I could. <laughs> and I thought about it. Like I was brand new to LA. You know, going on my auditions and working and doing everything that people do. And it's like, well, I'd rather be a working actor than acting like I'm working. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it's a, it's a job. It opens a lot of doors. Right. So I called Ernest. And he told me, I know somebody, give me some dirt, uh, something that'll interest them. So I sent him three screenshots from three of your favorite rappers and singers. And it was kind of all intertwined in some weird, uh, kind of funny, kind of messy, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. vine. And he sent the screenshots over to the producer. They're like, she's crazy. Bring her in. That's kind of how it, that's the, yeah. the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's so crazy? You're like, I'm clapback queen. I always, when I, you know, your name comes up, I'm like, do you guys follow her? Do you see her, her response? Girl, how about I got caught up in something because I was defending you. <laughs> oh, listen. No, this was like months Hilarious. ago. Yes. I defended you and everyone came after me. I'm like, wait, but that was just my opinion. Relax. Like, I was like, oh my God, I don't know how Masika does this every day, but your clapbacks are legendary. Thank you. I feel like when people say <laughs> ignorant things, they deserve an ignorant response. However, I like to be entertaining. I don't want to be bored. Yeah. All of the haters are boring. They're dry. So I think, why not liven it up a little bit? Mm-hmm. Put you in your place. Give a little chuckle. 
<laughs> I love it. And high five to you, your daughter, Kari Barbary, is you. everything exclamation point, <laughs> capital letters. Like, I love when you post her. And, like, she's not even, like, doing it on purpose. Like, that is truly what I feel watching, yeah. Yeah. how she is. Yeah. You like, know, she's so stars are born. Yes. They're not made. So, uh -huh. you know, you can't create a star. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there can be the clouds are out. You can't see it clearly. You got to move a couple things around to see that light. But she's a star. She's born a star. It, she's It's all over her. She's glowing. She has light. She's the best the best little girl. She's so sweet. She has such a big heart. <laughs> she's she's just hilarious. She's just so much fun. And and she's a good girl. Like, she, she has her moments now. But <laughs> she's a kid, so she's she a kid. Have a moment. But she listens very well, and like she hates getting in trouble, so she like discipline herself <laughs> before she, you yeah. get a chance. How does she yeah. discipline herself, mommy? I'm so sorry. I don't want to do it again, mommy. I'm not gonna <laughs> do it. Like, mommy, you know, I'll put her on her. time. First of all, she would rather get spanked than go to timeout. Timeout is like the, the death uh, of her. Like, oh. right. So I'll tell her to go to her room, go to her timeout. She will be screaming, all, but she'll go all the way to her room. You know, a lot of some kids like they won't go. Right. Oh, she's going. And then I'll ask her. I'll wait for like a minute. And she, I'm like, Kari, yes. Are you ready to be a good girl? N no. <laughs> <laughs> then, I'm I'll, then I'll hear her 60 seconds later. Okay, mommy, I'm ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how has, hilarious. How has becoming a mother changed your whole outlook on, on everything? Because it really did, like, I feel like from season one on your, you being, getting exposure on the TV shows, mm -hmm. To like now you're a mom and right. still getting exposure because right. you're on social media and everywhere else. Right. How has that changed? Like, I mean, a lot. Like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you made such a drastic, drastic change. And I really didn't. I mean, certain things, yes. But for the most part, like I said, you know, I play the role that's necessary for the part. Mm -hmm. And before I had a child, like, okay, this is kind of crazy. This is a little foolish a little stupid mm -hmm. but whatever let's get the ratings cut my check <laughs> let's do what it do you know so a lot of times it was not like oh i was this crazy wild person and now i've calmed down so much mm -hmm. i'm still a crazy wild person yeah um but you know there's a and i'm, and I'm still a calm person it, it's just it, it's not really as much of a dynamic of what changed within me but more of what i allowed them to portray about me which is one of the main reasons why i left um the show because it you know, I'm a mom now, so yeah. the fake story long lines are no longer um, acceptable mm -hmm. when this is something my child can watch later. And my real life is very interesting. I don't need you to create it. <laughs> something that you think would be more salacious when it actually has attachments to my child. I'm never going to go and act a crazy fool with, you know, this person or that person because they were linked to my daughter's father. I'm not going to go bashing him on TV I do that in private, you know, <laughs> so like it's just, <laughs> it's just certain things, <laughs> you know, like the Internet. Now you can Google anything. By the time mm -hmm. my daughter has a cell phone, you might be able to pull up a hologram. Oh, no. right. Hey, Hello. Siri, what did mom say? Right. You know, so it, just wasn't, it just wasn't possible. So I didn't do it anymore. But, you know, I, of course, there are changes. You know, I just want to just want to say, like, you know, I've always been this person. Mm -hmm. It just kind of kicked it into high gear. Um, I can be very selfish, um, and not like self-centered, selfish, mm -hmm. selfish. Like I worked so hard and I know what I want and nobody helped me type deal mm -hmm. and not even on to be bitter, but it's yeah. like, I have to get to where I'm going. So I don't care w what it is that you want or you want. I'm worried about me mm -hmm. now with my daughter. I'm worried about her. Like I think about everything she needs mm -hmm. before my needs or Hmm. What? What? How is this going to affect her? So she's definitely first. Um, I had the patience of a two-year-old goldfish. Now I have a little <laughs> bit more, <laughs> maybe like a five-year-old patient, you know. But um, she's taught me so many things. Um, she taught me about a different type of love that I never realized, never mm. knew, and made me realize that I, I love any of these Negroes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, I was just I remember my, when my daughter was first born. The first three weeks, I think I told my mom. 
I, I apologize to my mom for everything I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Every single like like mom thirty shaking times her head, a day. Guys. I'm sorry for any time I ever did it. Like. It is like once you have a kid, it's just everything is like, oh, I get it now. Mm. And you know all the things your parents told you that you were yeah. like, yeah, whatever. You don't know what you're talking about. They kind of they did. Okay. <laughs> you know, in one of the videos that you posted of your daughter, she was naming both sides of her family. Yes. Like so, she's familiar with both sides of her oh, family. Are you and, kidding and me? Good. She kicks it like soccer um <laughs> you know, kari's i'm i'm very very blessed very fortunate Bo both sides of the family are really involved really amazing um she's actually so funny i remember um kari's grandparents took her on a church retreat mm -hmm. uh, for four days in north carolina and we had been discussing it and i was like oh let me, let me think about it because my daughter i take my daughter with me everywhere mm -hmm. and you know she travels with me and I'd never been away from her for more than like 24 hours mm -hmm. so this is gonna be her well except for when she's with my mom but even then like yeah. I'll be home or back and forth or whatever so um I, they they asked if they could take her in the church retreat and she was going to meet some of their extended family like her great grand great great aunts great uncles wow. second cousins third cousins and it was just going to be she gets to meet you know more people and, and go to the church thing and I'm like okay I mean I know she'll be fine but she's never done it before so her dad calls me, and we're on, we're, um, on our FaceTime. She was talking to him. Telling, and then, you know, he, they were finished talking. He's like, put mommy on the phone. And he's like, uh, yeah, you know, um, I don't really want to mention it, you know, because I already know. I told my mom, you're going to say no already. And, you know, you don't have to tell her so you don't feel bad. I'll, I'll tell her. But, you know, they wanted her to come on the church trip. And I was like, Mom, she's not going to let her go for four days. I haven't even had her for four days by myself. <laughs> and, you know, I, so I already let her know that she, that you know, so mm -hmm. you don't have to say anything. I was like, actually, um, they're picking her up and she's going to go tomorrow. He was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shock. He couldn't even believe it. So, um, you know, they, oh, my gosh, I can't even, they're just, they're absolutely amazing. I call them my bonus parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I talk to them all the time. I prefer to talk to them other than the father. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, you know, my, we make arrangements. You know, my mom uh, with with his mom, and yeah, cool. she's always with her aunties, and she's mm -hmm. on Facetime with her cousins, and Super so it's, cool. it's it's really, really, really helpful because you know I do a lot by myself, so it's, mm -hmm. it's great having a support system. So we were talking before about. Kari Barbie, yes. the best baby in the world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have you're doing a lot of business ventures. Yes. So speak about that vegan cosmetic line. Yes. Why vegan? Well, you know we have all these celebrities coming out with their lines. We have mm -hmm. Fenty, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Kylie, I mean, she's a billionaire now because of it. Hello. Um, Bad Baby just got like a almost million dollar deal. <laughs> wow. Exactly. You know, and then we have our Max, our Loyos, and Maybelline, and it's like everybody's doing similar things. But I mean, that's fine because mm -hmm. it's room for everybody but i haven't seen anybody doing vegan organic paraben free like without all these harmful chemicals yeah. and things like that so for me like my main thing one i have sensitive skin i always have mm -hmm. um my mom you know my whole family well not my whole family but a lot of yeah, women in my women. family so there's certain products I just can't wear um but when i found out i was having a little girl i'm like okay I know I'm going to be the mom that's in the glam chair breastfeeding or, you know, getting <laughs> my makeup done, holding my baby, which literally I started back filming at three weeks when my daughter was three weeks old. Mm -hmm. So that literally what was going on. And I was like, I don't want powder falling on her or I don't want, you know, to kiss my baby. And she has lipstick on her face. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be worried because, you know, baby's skin Chemical is so sensitive. sensitive yeah. So I was like, OK, well, I'm going to be working and I can't get around it. So let me create my own cosmetic line that I know is going to be safe for my child, even though, of course, she's not going to be wearing it till she's uh -huh. 37. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it was a concern, and mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I did that because, you know, my daughter's a glam baby. She li she, she's she been watching me get my makeup done every single week, you know, since she was she three was weeks born. old. Mm -hmm. She always is grabbing the brushes, and she wants to play with the powder, and she wants to put the lipstick all over her face, and it's like, you know, as, as, as a kid, that's what you do. So if you're putting red and pink and vegan, paraben-free, you know, cruelty-free products on your skin, I'm not too worried. Um, and so you named it? Kari Barbie Beauty. Yes, honey. Yes. Where can we find it or when is it launching? Like, um, it? We've been open now for a little over two years. Okay. And we're actually doing a re-grand opening April 1st. I'm so excited about it. I'm actually uh, a little late because... 
people don't know, all my products are American made. So mm. my company that I, you, you know, makes all my products yeah. is actually in Florida. Oh, so, okay. but it's yonder. The testing lab. Is <laughs> yes, it's not yonder. the street guy. No, it's yonder. So <laughs> you know, we are literally repackaging, reformulating, awesome. adding new colors, adding some really, really dope Mother's Day kits, like limited edition. You know, just a lot of things that we're doing. Um, adding. Natu- I have natural hair oils that I make that will change your mm. life and your edges. Hello, edges, um, ladies. Listen, edges, she said edges the magic Edges matter, <laughs> okay? And it's so crazy. I even have customers that buy it for their beard. Oh, yeah. um, really? And Tice yeah. has a beard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not specifically <laughs> beard oil, yeah, but mm. you know, I have guys that have had, like, patchy spots mm. that, have, that have filled in. And, oh, you know, wow. it's just a lot of miraculous things happen with this hair oil. So we're about to introduce um, shampoos and conditioners and... I formulated these these formulas by myself. Like Hello. I literally did the research, created them, got what them products the lab. You, what ingredients exactly. you wanted. Exactly. Had, you know, I had help mixing everything and making sure that the configurations were right. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I really got in there with my lab coat and my goggles, you know, because it's like I really believe in this line, the integrity of it. And I want people to see that you can have beauty products without without sacrificing your safety. Hello. Like, you know, you might put some lipstick on that has well bl- blubber in one. Mm-hmm. You know, you might put on some eyeliner that has pig hooves. Uh, I, I mean, and literally, that. like a pig <laughs> But no. I mean, honestly, really, these the products truth. do. Right. And it's like, why, who, who decided to mix well blubber and a pig foot? Like, what, why are we doing How long have we right. been wearing what that, that help? on our What's lips? That <laughs> so, you remember, like, back in the day, how lipstick smelled yeah. so, like, like, like wax? Yeah. It, it was the animal products and, and then wow. the preservatives and it's like oh this red looks really pretty what color is that pq chemical xyz <laughs> damaging killing 18 whales oh I'm glad you know, I don't go kiss that. Me. right so I, I i mean i know they have them but i haven't really seen you know a public figure a high profile person a celebrity do a cosmetic line that actually cares about the ingredients oh, are I you actually that. vegan yourself like um <laughs> Have eat? you seen me? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <No. laughs> I eat grade A certified Angus steak. <laughs> I have been vegan. I've been vegetarian. I've been pescatarian. Mm-hmm. I went through all these phases. Um, I went vegan for seven months, and I looked like I was on drugs. Because, um, you know, it's very, you're supposed to balance, right. and mix the grains, and proteins, yeah. and this. I wasn't doing all that. So I <laughs> you were just vegan. Yeah. Yeah. And I lost so much weight, which, you know, what women want, but I lost the shape, mm. which the curves men don't want. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've tried all these things, and I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm a free spirit. I do things at will. I think I might drop meat off one day again. I might pick it back up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I try to eat genuinely healthy. I try to, you know, eat organic. I just don't think that, you know, beauty products should mm-hmm. involve animals. Yeah, yeah. Animals don't wear lipstick. Where do they find the, <laughs> what's the website or where should Our they website go? is kariebarbiebeauty.com. Okay. Um, that is where we do the majority of our ordering. Um, we will be in a few physical locations mm-hmm. towards the end of the year I'm really excited about. Mm-hmm. And we'll be doing a bunch of different pop-up shops. You can find out all that information at kariebarbiebeauty.com or mystikakalisha.com. And both websites lead you to the other website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, of course, follow my social media pages. And so the movie, you yes. did a movie with Chris Stokes. Oh my goodness. I love his movies. Like they're on Netflix, yes. they're everywhere. And he they does are a lot good of good and juicy. Netflix Who'd you kill on the movie? I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, what's your role? Can you at least tell us what your role is? Uh, my character's name is Ashley, mm-hmm. and she's a spoiled rich girl. I mean, kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I made myself a spoiled rich girl, let's be clear, um, because I wasn't spoiled at all. <laughs> My mama's mom's here. Mom's <laughs> just a shrug. Just a shrug. <laughs> um, no, my parents, you know, they, they did amazing. They did the best they could. You know, my parents got married so young, 18 to 21 in the hood. Oh, so, so, you yeah. know, I mean, look at me. Look what I've become. God, you created the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but um, so Ashley's a spoiled rich kid. Um, her dad is very wealthy. He owns all these businesses. And, you know, I date the white Oxford Brad type guy mm-hmm. and um, I end up kind of falling for the help oh, Lord. and my dad doesn't like it and there's a struggle there and <laughs> then you know we'll see what happens at the end does exactly. the movie have a name yet it's called swag Inc okay and it's very funny mm-hmm. um, there were some really really good actors in it 
Um, me and Erica Minna play the female leads. Hey. Okay. Yes. And um, she did amazing. It was a lot of fun working with her. And, um, you know, it's just really cool, like, you know, being in a film and and working with actors that you grew up watching. Okay. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of cool characters that will that you'll recognize that are, mm -hmm. you know, familiar fan favorites. So I'm really excited. And Chris, he's really passionate. Does an amazing job, and he's he's just he's incredible. Okay, so yeah. let's if it, do you know where they're going to air it? Is it's it on BT. Netflix? Oh, it's BT. BT. Yeah. So let's get those numbers up when it yes. airs. I know you'll promote it. <laughs> yep. Yes, and absolutely. Let us know. Let's talk about the studio. How Music. do you find do time? It. To be in the studio to release Seriously. singles and... Mom entrepreneur <laughs> yeah. and all that. <laughs> Makeup line. Honestly. And you're singing? What the? And acting? Honestly, uh, I, I, I don't find time. It's just I just make it. Like, I'll, <laughs> I'll book out two or three weeks um, studio every single day from, like, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, Mom, I got to go to work. And she'll, like, all right, I'll fly my mom out. You know, get up in the morning with my daughter, take her to school, run my errands, pick her up from school, make her dinner time bath time get her into bed go to the studio from 10 my mom you know stays there with her i come home at five o'clock in the morning take an hour hour and a half nap get back up and do it again <laughs> do it wow again. and you know it's, it's it's really really difficult but it's like you ha i have to get it done this is what i want to do and that's how it has to happen so i literally it's it's like oh uh, let's see i can go three weeks without sleeping okay <laughs> let's do it go time so yeah. speak a little bit about the the um, single "Take It Off." Yes, so take I it love off. the cover. Thank you. Yeah. I gotta show it. Wait, Don't I my mom's in here. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to zoom it in onto the camera. No, you <laughs> can't. But here's the thing. I, let me say because my mom's in here. Okay, I, I forgot posted the original. <laughs> no, it's fine. I posted like the original um, picture before it became part of the cover, mm -hmm. and I had on jeans. But the, I had an amazing editor that took them off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. So if you go back on my IG, you'll see the, the photo shoot um, previously with with jeans on. So, yeah. But anyway, um, it was just something really fun. I wanted something super fl fun and flirty. Um, it's a sample, of course, from the 504 Boys, mm -hmm. which, which was... <laughs> there it which was, is. you know, just a cute little fun <laughs> riff, so... <laughs> Um, you know, I love taking nostalgic tunes yeah. and kind of like, you know, having them updated. And um, Street Symphony did the beat. He was amazing. And the 808 was hitting. So, you know, as soon as the beat came on, everybody still was like, oh, yeah. was like, okay. you know that song. <laughs> right. So I'm like, OK, I want a song where girls want to dance. And the vibe I was looking for was like Christina Milian. Uh, dip it low. That was okay. that was the mood oh, okay. I wanted. I wanted the song to come on and girls be like, "Hey!" And, <laughs> you know, get to dancing and just actually let their hair down. And yeah, you know, we go to the club the now. Club. We just look so yeah. cute and right. <laughs> you know, move. put me right. on Snapchat real quick. Right, right. <laughs> so I just wanted something that felt good that made women want to dance and have fun. I love it. So yeah. the new project, that single obviously is going to be involved in that yeah. new project. Speak a little bit about the new project. Well, you know, I'm supposed to be in the studio with Rico Love while I'm here. Rico, turn Rico, the lights what's up, on. Man? Turn the lights on. Uh, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> See, I had to put him on blast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he listens. We're Listen. sending an APB to Rico. Rico had a couple other things booked. Aww. So, you know, he, we were trying to schedule it, but I have to go back. I gotta get my baby. So okay. I bring her back. I, oh, oh yes. She, and, and she's been to Miami. Here. She's definitely been to Miami. <laughs> so um, yeah. So the new project is it's just it's fun. I feel like um, I like to say things that women think but are scared to say. Okay. And I'm that voice inside your head that's like, <laughs> come on, girl, you gonna say it? You gonna do it? And we gonna have a good time. You know, men do it. Men go for it. Men don't care. They say what they want to say, mm -hmm. and we get can't. Away with yeah, it. right. I mm -hmm. say whatever. I want and it bothers people so much because they're not free. I'm free. I'm free mm -hmm. to do whatever. As you long will. as my God and my child are okay, guess what? You will be too. So <laughs> I you know, I like to be that voice that whether it's, you know, you're going through a breakup, mm -hmm. whether it's you had the best day ever, whether you know, whatever the mood is, I touch on all of those things in my records and I feel like I color them to a way that women get the picture and men also can vibe with it. So I love it. We're excited. Thank Let you. everybody know where they can follow your movements, follow your music yes. and everything, all the links. Again, MasikaKalisha.com. That's the hub for everything. All my social media pages are pretty much the same. 
at Masika Kalisha or King Masika Kalisha. King Masika Kalisha is my SoundCloud and my Facebook fan page. Snap, Twitter, IG, everything else is Masika Kalisha. Um, you can find my music anywhere that you stream. Google Play, iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, SoundCloud if you want a budget. Listen, <laughs> I got it. Whatever you need. It's there. It's there. <laughs> All right, live in the studio, we've been hanging out with Masika Kalisha. Follow her movements because the yes. afternoon get down set. So, yep. your girl, Super Cindy, DJ Entice, 99 Jams.